we're going to sort this column. And I'm going to show you four ways to do it. Definitely the manual way is we can freeze a row up here. And in this sales column, which we want to sort by number, we can click up here and say sort sheet Z to A. Z to A means we're sorting from the biggest to the lowest. And there we go. That's one way to sort. But what if we want to keep adding here or we want these months to be in this particular way and we want to see what is the highest one on another sheet. So let's create another sheet called sorted and we will actually take the exact same style and paste it but take away all this data and we're going to put into the A column equals sort and the range while we're still here we're going to come in and select all three of these columns. We can get the whole column if we just delete that last 11 at the end of there. Sort column. Now this is going to be either one, two, or three. We're going to select two, and then we're going to say, is it ascending? And if it's ascending, it'll go smallest to biggest, but if it's descending, it will go biggest to... So we're going to say false, because we do want it to go from biggest to smallest. In parentheses, and there we go. We have sorted our column. But interesting enough, if we add another month here, Andy, and let's say we'll go big, and we'll say this is the next January. We go here, and it is sorted here. Great. But let's say we don't want it on another tab. Let's, we might want to delete that, or we want to sort this exact one. So let's fix this format a little bit. We're going to need a app script for this. It's going to be super easy. I'm going to walk you through. We're going to say sort B column as the name of the function. We're going to go spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet dot put parentheses there, get sheet by name. And the name of our sheet is sheet one in this particular case. So in parentheses, we're going to put sheet one. We're going to say sort, and then we need the column. And here we're going to put the number of the column, not the letter of the column. So we want column two. Now we're going to save this command S or click the save project to drive up here. We can click that as well. And when we click run, it's going to sort it. However, we don't want to do that. We don't want to come in here and have to click run. So we're going to set this up automatically but just to authorize it and check. Let's authorize and see. Is it sorted? Yes, it is sorted, but it's sorted ascending. So we want to say false here. So two comma false. And let's hit run again to name this sort. And now it is descending. Perfect. But how do we get this to run automatically? I'm going to show you two ways to do that. Over on the left side, click triggers. We're going to add a trigger. Choose which function, the sort B column from spreadsheet or time driven. For right now, I'm going to do from spreadsheet. And I'm going to do on edit. Click save. Now every single time I add any data here, it's going to resort. So I can change this to 45 and that automatically did there. Even just typing in Andy here will resort it. Or if I go one, let's see, I put it at the top because it's a letter. If I put 10, it's going to resort it every time I edit any cell in the entire, let's try that again, 22. There it goes. It's resorting it. What's interesting is there is a second way you can automatically set this trigger. So let's create another trigger. But before we go, I'm going to click the three dots here and click delete trigger. That's how you delete a trigger if you want to. Add a trigger. We're going to use sort B column. And instead of from spreadsheet, I'm going to choose time driven. And I'm going to set this as a day timer, meaning every single day. And I'm going to pick a time, maybe late at night or very early in the morning, maybe before we start working, 4 to 5 a.m., click Save. Now every day, that same trigger will go. So it won't go while we're editing it, thankfully, but it will sort every day. So it'll keep our data in sorted every single day. Now again, if you want to delete this trigger, go to the three dots over here, click Delete Trigger, and Delete Forever. Thanks for watching. You're watching Better Sheets here on YouTube. Make sure you check out this video or this video and subscribe right now to get more tips, tricks, how to's, get more out of your Google Sheets than you ever have before. I'm excited to be making a ton more videos here. Ask me questions down in the comments and I will answer them in future videos. But for right now, right here, one of these videos is gonna be your next Google Sheet.